Okay. We're here. We're in episode 8. And we're also going to be opening this because apparently I have a loyalty token. So. <laughs> or should I open this? No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I should wait till level 60 just in case. But. Alright. Starting winter task. And I'm crying. I have troubling news from Grizzleheim. It seems as if the cold day we feared has come to pass. Your old friend in Grizzleheim, Bjorn Ironclaws, sends word that the ravens of the coven have struck once Bjorn sent word to ask you to venture to Northgard in Grizzleheim and speak to him at once. Uh, your instructors are aware you may miss some class time. Uh, there may be makeup work when this matter is complete. Gas. So now we're getting actual XP from this. That's cool. What do we got? Who oh, there, Outlander? Forgive me. My gladness at seeing you is outmatched by my dread of the curse upon Grizzleheim. Your presence humbles me. I am only the second greatest hero in Grizzleheim when you visit my world. Times are grim. Though you defeated them before, the evil members of the Coven have struck again. We fear that this is the final act of their terrible plan to curse the Spiral with the dreaded Everwinter. King Valgard Goldenblade has need of your spells. Enter his hall and speak with him if you are a true hero. I am pleased you heard my call. As Bjorn Ironclaws told you, the evil ravens of the Coven are trying to bring the Everwinter upon Grizzleheim. Once this dreadful cold comes, it will wreath our world in ice, and the freeze will spread throughout the spiral. Though the Coven met their defeat at your hands, they crept from their hidey holes and struck again. There is much to tell you, but still more that I do not know. Your old friend, Raffin Lorespeaker in Ravenscar, wishes to speak with you. He knows more about this grim threat. Would that I had better news for you, wizard. The Coven has returned after the same goal. The Everwinter. You have heard of the titans of storm, fire, and ice, yes? They were the first beings before the spiral was made. The ice titan sleeps deep beneath Grizzleheim sent into a centuries-long slumber by Bartleby himself. The Coven would rouse the Ice Titan from that eternal rest. When he rises, his fury will be cold and fierce. The runes tell me that the Coven is at work in Hrundlefjord, a port in the part of Grizzleheim called Wintertusk. You must use your wits, your spells, and your courage to defeat the Coven once more. Only you can do this deed. Go and speak to Valgard Goldenblade once more, and tell him that Hrundle Fjord is where you must go. I can see from your grim demeanor that Raffin has told you much. So Raffin Lorespeaker tells you that the Coven is up to their evil in Hrundle Fjord. This angers and frightens me. I have not heard from my subjects in Hrundlefjord in some time, and I worry that they have met with trouble. Balder Goldpaws is at the dock of Northgard. He can take you to the part of Wintertusk called Rundlefjord. Go now and speak to Balder, and go to Rundlefjord with the king's favor at your side like a trusted sword. I can't get the drugs. Oh! If you are indeed going to Rundle Fjord, there's something you can do for old Zeke. It's a quiet little place, but it's getting cold. Too cold for little critters to survive. I hear tell of a pack of trogs in Rundle Fjord. They're wild things that need me to look in on them. Could you check up on them? No need to rile them up. Just see how they're doing. Hello there, young wizard. How can I help you? You wish to journey to Rundlefjord? It is a simple task. Step over to my ship and we will- Here it is! Oh, okay. <laughs> Rundlefjord, part of Wintertusk. If you wish to return to Northgard, or return here from Northgard, my ship is at your service. Long has it been since I visited Rundlefjord, but it is clear that something is terribly wrong. There is an unseasonable chill in the air. And I have never seen a ship with such ice upon it. 
Stride over to that nearby ship, if you will, and see what ails it and the crew who stand beside We examine the long ship. This ice is not natural. It was frozen in place here at the dock. These warriors were frozen in their tracks. Powerful ice magic is at work here. There are others who could have done this, but I'll wager that the Coven is behind this dread chill. Ill-doing at the docks can only be a sign that further mischief is afoot. You should go and examine the gates to Harundel Fjord and see if they were able to withstand this wretched cold. Go and scout only. Do not open the gates or enter the village just yet. There may be trouble within. As a captain, I cannot abandon my longship, so I will wait here for your return. Daphne in the thumbnail for click bay works every time. Yes, sir. We got to. The Nast John Solo is going to be fun to watch. Yeah, and that'll be its own uh, standalone episode. That's probably going to be episode 10, so stay tuned. The gates are closed and appear to be locked. Like the cold, silence radiates from within the village. The gates are locked, eh? That is a sure sign of trouble. In kinder times, the village guards would have seen the sails of my ship and opened the gate to greet us. I suspect that the village of Herundel Fjord is in the icy clutches of evildoers. There must be a way through the gates. Perhaps a secret signal to alert those inside. Those frost bones outside the gate may know more about getting inside. You should defeat a few frost bones and see how they signal to one another. And on drums. Okay, so before the stream, I did go ahead and buy some Snow Angel uh, treasure cards because I'm going to need those uh, leading up to when I can actually get Snow Angel because I want y'all to watch these Frost Bones. They might not have a lot of health, and I'm sure a triple buffed Frost Giant would kill them, but the first thing this guy's going to use is Tower Shield. Okay, I stand corrected. The first thing this guy's going to use is Tower Shield. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? <laughs> Round one, and we're already seeing that, so that is what we're going to be looking at for most of this world. Any ice mob in this world is going to use that, and that is why I did Celestia before this. Uh, usually, I, I recommend to six out of uh, five, technically, out of seven schools, because balance just sort of blows in this too, but for five out of seven schools, I recommend doing... Uh, Celestia after Winter Tusk, so that way you can get way more geared for Celestia, because otherwise you're gonna just, you know, suffer there like I did <laughs> at, at low level. But, yeah, you, you kind of just have to pick a Strug, as sad as that is. And the Strug I picked was Celestia over Winter Tusk. Because Winter Tusk is not so bad if you have uh, an AoE over time. Oh, this is another thing. Winter Tusk. This is why it, it's it's like Winter Tusk is a strug, uh because of things like you know Ice Kraken existing. <laughs> it's like everything has the the health of an ice boss, but the, the attack power of a storm. So that's real fun. But I do still recommend doing this before you know, so this happens in Celestia too. As you defeat this Frostbones, it signals its allies by banging its sword on its shield. More of them bang their shields in reply. It is a code of some Bang sort. their swords upon their shields instead of speaking? This is an ancient means of signaling. Warriors of old call it Norse Code. It is clear that the town has fallen to evil. Go and use Norse Code to signal your way past the gate. The Thane of Harundel Fjord is named Vanir Stormroar. If he lives, he will be in the village's hall. Seek him out and return to me once you know his fate. You tap on the gate a few times, and something that sounds like Norse code. A moment later, it opens. Vanir is frozen solid. You should tell Balder the bad news. You bring ill news. Vanir alone could tell us what happened to Rundle Fjord. Must devise a way to thaw Vanir's storm roar without harming him. This is raven magic. We need a raven. If I remember rightly, an old crone named Morn Shadowbrew dwells within Harundel Fjord. Though she was wicked and unkind, she may be able to help us if she has not been turned to ice. Go and seek her out and see if she can be convinced to help us in this cold hour. Who's this? You're not frozen. No matter. You'll join the others in their wintry doom. 
gas. Okay, well, at least I have two feints to stack. The problem... Okay, so... Yeah, these these mobs love Earthquake more than life itself, so... <laughs> oh, she doesn't even have that much health. I can just Blade Blade Giant. And we're good. nothing. But if you must speak to him, here is how to thaw him. Go to the geysers at the edge of the village and collect some scalding water. Here's an urn you can use. Just pour it over Vanir. He should thaw in a matter of moments. It is magic ice. Only geyser water will serve. To collect the steaming geyser water in the urn Morn gave you, you're careful not to burn yourself. You pour the steaming geyser water upon the frozen Thane. In a moment or so, he is free from the ice. What has happened? I was in my hall, ready to fight the coven, when I became quite cold. I remember no more. Now I am soaked and steaming. My state lacks dignity, but I am grateful to you for my freedom. What has happened? I don't recognize you, but you're clearly a wizard of some sort. You freed me, so I will trust you. The one you must speak to is Grandmother Raven. She is an old one, older than even the Spiral. It is said she gave the eyes of time to the great tree at the heart of the Spiral. But that was long, long ago. She is a loyal ally of my people. I bid you, check on her. See how she fares. I fear that the Coven has done her ill. Grandmother Raven is often near the giant tree behind this hall. Go and seek her out. I have to say, I have always loved this big reveal with uh, with Grandmother Raven, and like yeah, yeah, here, and it's just an air raider's voice. I check this. Greetings, young wizard. At long last, we meet. Actually, it doesn't look like you're there at all. I have long watched you as you made your way through the spiral. Perhaps you have felt my presence before. I celebrated your victories, and I hope that my counsel reached you in your journeys. You find me at a disadvantage. Though the ravens are all my children of a sort, some of them are quite wicked. The ravens of the coven are especially untrustworthy. They caught me unawares and trapped me in this cage. If you would help an old grandmother, talk to the three wise sisters called the Norns at the nearby well. They can see into the past, across the world as it is, and they know what is to come. They can help you set me free. I am Erd, the one who knows all that has happened to you before this day. I am Verdandi, and there is nothing in the spiral that is hidden from my sight. I am Skald, and I knew you were coming. We Norns tend the loom of fate. Each living being is but a thread for us to weave into the tapestry of life. As an outlander, you are free from fate. You are not of Grizzleheim, so your destiny is not part of this tapestry. You alone can change the course of events and thwart the frightful fate that is to come. To free Grandmother Raven, you must do the impossible first. Fetch for us the feather of a white raven. Skogul the Pale is such a raven, with feathers the color of the moon, rather than the night dark sky. Go to Skogul's hut in Rundlefjord and beg from her a single white oh, yeah, feather. Oh, frozen in here. That's crazy. Who's that outside? If you're from the coven, leave me alone. If you've come to free me, then welcome. The door is frozen shut. If you want to be of help, fetch a kettle from the market and fill it with snow. Melt the snow in the fire pit in the market, and then bring the hot water back to pour over the ice on my door. Get a cooking pot and quickly fill it with snow. The snow melts and boils quickly. You pour the boiling water over the ice, it melts away. You're not from around here, are you? You have my gratitude for getting rid of the ice, but I'm still plenty mad at what's been done. 
If you'll go and teach a handful of those ravens a lesson, any of them will do. I'll be willing to listen. So, what are you waiting for? Get out there and thrash some of the ravens that ruined this nice village. I'll help you now that the ravens have paid for the trouble they brought to Hrundlfjord. What can I do for you? A feather? An odd request, but if it's for a good cause... Wincing, Skogel pulls out a stray feather and hands it to you. Use that in a spell against me and you'll wish you had it. This feather will serve its purpose, but it's only a start. We do not send you on idle errands. The things we need are for a mighty spell to change the fate of a world. The next impossible thing we need is a claw from a bear with no name. In this world, that is no small thing. Vanir Stormroarer keeps a census of all who dwell here. He knows everyone and may know if there is one with no name. Vanir is in his hall and he will help you find this nameless bear. When you have that bear's claw, you can return. You seek a bear without a name? How odd. Why would any bear not want to have a name to echo in glory? I keep a census of all those who live in this village. Read it and see if it helps. To examine the census, the list of names doesn't include Lee, who is standing outside of town. Greetings. Is it safe to go back into town? What? No name? How could they take Leaf off their senses? I'll have to speak to Vanir about that. What's that? You'd like a claw? How odd. I was just sharpening my claws and the tip of one of them broke off. It must be fate at work. In that case, you should have it. The claw of a bear with no name. You are clever to win such a prize. Clever indeed. A feather from a white raven, and a claw from a bear with no name. Two of the three items we need are in hand. The third item is perhaps the most difficult to obtain. A tooth from a wolf who has never known battle. Fate smiles upon you. At the edge of this village is an herbalist called Regan Wildleaf. He may be of help. You aren't from here. Did you come with the coven, or are you here as a friend to the folk of Hrundlfjord? We can use allies in this grave time. I am an herbalist, and I do what I can to heal the sick. A tooth? What a strange request. And an odd coincidence, one I cannot ignore. When the ice first came, I bit a piece of it and broke a tooth. I'll readily give it to you, but can you help me? I have an ache from the missing tooth. And the herbs I need for the remedy are outside of town. I'll need a sprig each of valerian and of amaranth. They grow around the village and outside the front gates. I'll also need a branch of moonwort, which the coven night wings may have taken. Gather those three herbs, bring them to me, and I'll look around and see if I can find that broken tooth. You're quite the gatherer. Those herbs will help ease the pain of this broken tooth. And here, this is for you. Regan hands you a jagged piece of broken tooth. That must have hurt coming out. We have the three that cannot be. Now is the time to weave our greatest magic. Tooth, claw, and feather. These are symbols of our people, yet each comes from a source that cannot be. You must bind them with the thread of your life and weave them into the tapestry that is Grizzleheim's fate. Take feather, claw, and tooth to the loom of fate. Tie them to your thread, you will know it, and return to us. One of the threads looks a little different from the others. You get a sense that it represents you. You tie the feather, claw, and tooth to the thread. Strangely, Grizzleheim feels a little more like home to you. You can now dispel the magic that binds Grandmother Raven within her cage. It should open to your touch. I love this scene. Free 
from that cage. Now I can take on my true form. Do not be afraid. Walk up the ramp so that I can see you eye to eye. Glad to see it. It has been centuries since I wore this shape. Oh, to stretch these wings once more. There is still much to do. Else the Everwinter takes us all in its cold, clawed grasp. When the Ice Titan fought with his brothers, the Titans of Fire and Storm, the world was threatened with ruin. Bartleby sung the song that put them to sleep and bound together the shattered world and spun it into the spiral. Four sons there are of the Ice Titan, four giants of frost. Ostri, Vestri, Sudri, and Nordri are their names. Each frost giant rules a land near Rundlefjord, and they have never been friendly to bear, wolf, or raven. But the one they liked least was their father, the Ice Titan himself. While the father slumbers, the sons run wild. The four ice giants each have a means to bind their father to sleep. Four golden seals, one to each. I lay this task upon you, to fetch back the golden seals. The gate to Austri's land will now open to you. Go through the gate and speak to Austri. Bargain for the seal, then return with it. There is no other way. I pulled bigger things than you out of my nose. Who are you? And why should I bother listening? It's clear to me why you've come. You want the golden seal that will keep my father in his great sleep. The coven gave one seal to each of the Ice Titan's sons for safekeeping, but they do not know us very well. It pleases my brothers and me to let Amir sleep on while we rule over Bear, Raven, and Wolf. You're clearly a wizard of some renown, but I will not grant the seal to just any who ask. You must earn it. Four tests I place before you. You must demonstrate your superiority in strategy, wits, charm, and strength. If you would have my golden seal, you must defeat the most cunning of my allies, Skagis Forkbeak. He dwells in a small shack next to my hall. You may have passed it on your way here. Defeat him and return here. I saw you sniffing around Ostri's hall. What brings you here? If you want to impress me, you'll have to defeat me in a game of Thane's Table. It's a complex game, like chess. I can see you haven't heard of it, but don't worry. I'm starved for a good game. No one here is any good at it. I have defeated all of Grizzleheim at Thane's Table, all but Mimir Winterbane, and we played to a draw. If you want to learn how to play and play well, you should go and beg him to teach you the rules of the game. Mamir dwells at the Well of Erd in Rundlefjord, guarded by the three Njorns. Tell him I sent you. You don't see anyone nearby. That rope looks suspicious. Does Mamir actually live in the well? There is only one way to find out. Who trespasses in my well? I'll send you to the coldest corner of the afterlife.
You have my apologies for the misunderstanding. I was not expecting... guests? You have certainly strayed from the beaten path, Outlander. What brings you here? Skegis sent you to learn to play Thane's table at my hand? That's wise. If he taught you himself, then he might not get the most of the game, and he might try to cheat. Very well. I'll teach you how to play. But I'm so very hungry and so very cold. I'm in no mood to teach. Yet. Fetch me a loaf of Regan Wildleaf's harvest bread, and I'll teach you to beat Skagis Forkbeak at his game. I delivered the last of the bread to the bakery before the cold claimed the village. There should be some in the basket, though you'll need to heat it up in the bakery's oven. My harvest bread is meant to be served with fresh honey, but the nearest beehives are in Australia. You find a loaf of Regan's harvest bread. It is cold, but looks tasty. A few minutes in the oven and the harvest bread is hot and ready to eat. Now for the honey. You carefully gather some honey without angering the hive. Maybe the bees were expecting a bear. That smells delicious. Honey, too? You are indeed a generous guest. I, I won't make you watch me eat it. <laughs> After all, you're here to learn how to play Thane's table. Let me start. Mimir teaches you not only the basics of Thane's table, but some advanced rules and some strategy. When he is finished teaching you the game, you think you can teach Skegis a thing or two. And that's all I can teach you. You are a good student. I think you will surprise Skegis when you play. Mimir got you sorted out. Good. Ready to play some Thane's table? Excellent. Lay your pieces out on the board and let's get started. What's that? You don't have any pieces? Is this some kind of jest? Most Thanes table players supply their own pieces. I no longer have a spare set. The Frostbones took mine. If you want to recover my spare set, you're more than welcome to go and get it from the Frostbones that took it. And now that you're ready, let's begin! To the Thane's table! Skegis is a master at the game. Every move is deliberate, calculating, and without hesitation. You lose your sense of time while playing. It is difficult to keep track of the rules and advice Mimir gave you. Skegis pauses and leans back. The game is over and the winner all but decided. You think you've lost, but then why is Skegis frowning? You look again and realize you won. Mamir taught you well. You can tell Ostri that you bested me in strategy. That took a while. I was sure you fled. Okay, look, dude, I had to beat up an ice boss and I'm ice, so, like, I think that's understandable. How did you do? So, you've beat Skegis in a game of Thane's Table, which shows you are a master of strategy. This next challenge will be no easy matter. You must defeat my riddle master at a game of wits. His name is Grand, and he dwells in a village not far from here. Go and challenge him to the riddle Grand game. Grand is riddle master of Oskreland, famousest in all Grizzleheim. What is your name? You tell Grand your name. You pretty good at riddle game. You win. Grand did not even know answer to that one. Let me guess. You beat Grand? Maybe he'll win one someday. With the challenges of strategy and wits under your belt, you're still only halfway to earning a golden seal. The challenge of charm can't be won as easily. You will have to convince a warrior to part with his weapon. The wolves have been causing me no end of trouble and none more so than their chief, Garm Moonstalker. His spear is a thorn in my side, so I'll be wanting it from him, but you must win it without harming him. Go and take Garm's spear from him. He won't give it up easily, so be warned. You can find him in the wolf camp. Oh there, Outlander. You must be the one who helped my cousins in the Merkholm. So, friend, I welcome you. 
How can I help you? Be warned, my time is short. I have many boars to defeat. Austri's thugs are endless. You wish to take my spear? I would gladly give it up if it meant my foes were all defeated. You have my spear to use as you see fit. Do not worry. I have several others ready to use against the boars. Garm's spear. Now with this in my hands, he is rendered powerless. My boars will make short work of him. The final test you shall face is the test of strength. I will not mince words. It is a battle you must win. There is a cave near my hall, and in it is a fearsome ice troll named Sulkir. He is my mightiest champion. Go there, face Sulkir in battle, and return to claim the Golden Seal. There are no further conditions. My club is hungry! Step on over here so I can feed it! I was sure you'd meet your doom at Selkir's hands, but I'm impressed at the outcome. You can have this golden seal. I wish you luck with my brothers. They'll not be so easy to bargain with. Vestry is the next of us you'll need to talk to. He rules Vestrilund, to the west of Hrundle Fjord. The gate to Vestrilund is locked, shut fast by the coven. A magic lock that cannot be forced or picked. A raven named Grimaldi Keymaker lives to the south of my hall. He is no friend to the coven, but knows locks. I have not seen Grimaldi in years, but if anyone will know how to open the lock to Vestrilund, it is Grimaldi. You should go speak to Grimaldi and see if he can make you a key. Then take the golden seal to Grandmother Raven. This place is deserted. It's been years since anyone lived here. It reminds you of a tomb. That runestone may have some clues to what happened to Grimaldi. Who disturbs my eternal rest? I see all. The secrets of life and death are known to me. You seek a key to Vesterland, sealed by the coven. Though the cold of the grave is great, the chill of the Everwinter will be much worse. So I will help you. The Coven asked me to destroy the key, but I would not. So they slew me. And now I am hungry for vengeance. They could not banish the key, so the Coven broke the Vestralund key into two parts. Parts that can be reunited. They gave one piece each to two ice colossi named Nali and Nar, who dwell in different caves nearby. Defeat Nali and Nar, recover the pieces of the key, and return to me. I will repair them. If you've come here, it is to no good end. I will destroy you.
cascade now. You cannot hide from me, trespasser. And you will never take the thing I guard. So, um, I would do the last boss, who spawns at Grimaldi's uh, cave, but the servers are going down in approximately three minutes, so that is where I'm going to end off the episode. Um, wish I could have at least finished up Austerland, <laughs> that would have been nice, but I you know, three minutes, so it'd be like that. It's kind of the best PvP in the game. Thank you, Mario. Appreciate ya. But yeah, that's going to wrap up episode 8. I promise 9 will be longer. Uh, I'm going to try to get all the way to the end of Norgerland by the end of next episode. Um, so that's going to be hopefully Wednesday, and I'm going to try and stream for longer on that. So yeah, for now, thank you all for watching. I've been Ice Gold. Be sure to like, subscribe. And, you know, leave, like, 50 comments for the algorithm. My Discord is down in the description. If you want to chat, to chat with me some more, I can speak English. And I will see you.